Hello, Internet. My name is David Radcliffe, and I am proud and pleased and honored to be the winner of Scriptapalooza TV's one-hour spec drama writing competition for my Dexter script titled The Second Coming. Uh, this script was written between seasons five and six of Dexter, and at the end of season five, Dexter makes a decision to allow someone very close to him to walk away carrying all of his secrets and the potential to destroy him. That didn't sit quite right with me as a viewer because I felt like it was a big liability for a serial killer. So I wanted to retroactively address that problem and also write a script that investigates his relationships with his children, which I think too often get short shrift on his show. It was a great challenge to write it and a lot of fun too. Um, it took me about six days to write the script and prior to that about three days to outline the script. And prior to that, I did some research into police procedure and forensics and some creepy murder stuff that was probably of great interest to the NSA. Um, I wanted my script to be as surprising and as authentic as possible. This is not the first script that I've written. I am a proud graduate of the MFA screenwriting program at UCLA, for which I wrote multiple feature scripts. And I've also written a half-hour pilot and spec scripts of The Office, 30 Rock, Parks and Recreation, The New Girl, and some others. This Dexter script was my first attempt at an hour-long script, and I'm really proud of the result. Um, I entered Scriptapalooza TV because it's got a really good reputation, and also because it promotes the visibility not only of its winners, but also of its quarter-finalists, semi-finalists, and finalists. So I felt like this was a contest with a lot of love to be spread around. Um, this particular script also won the Austin Film Festival, and I wanted to try to keep that momentum going and bring as many readers to my work as possible because I'm really pleased with this piece. Um, in terms of shows that I love to watch or would love to write for, my favorite show probably of all time, and this will come as no surprise to anyone who follows my Facebook feed, is Breaking Bad. I've been a huge fan of Vince Gilligan since the 90s when he was working on The X-Files, which was the first show to really make me think about how much fun it would be to write for television and I would love to work with and learn from him in any capacity. I would uh, clean toilets on any of his projects. Um, other shows that I love to watch and would love to write for are Sherlock, Mad Men, Parks and Recreation, Community, Homeland. Um, I, really love, I really love shows that um, don't confine themselves to a comedic or dramatic box, but understand that life is often funny and sad at the same time. Um, I want to take a second also to address the diversity heads and executives at various networks and encourage them to expand their notion of diversity to include people with disabilities, which is the largest minority group on the planet. Um, I use crutches or a wheelchair to get around because I have cerebral palsy, and I can think of no writers with disabilities working anywhere in television. And that's a shame because television is probably the best best tool we have to bring people together and make people more comfortable with each other and with differences. And for people with disabilities, it's great to see characters that represent your hopes and fears and possibilities and potential, because as it is now, you hardly even see us as extras, <laughs> background artists in uh, scenes. We don't go out, we don't go to Starbucks, or, uh, we don't uh, have jobs or families. So I would encourage anyone interested in diversity to also be interested in people with disabilities who have some incredible stories to tell. Uh, thank you so much to the judges and readers of Scriptapalooza TV. Congratulations to all the semi-finalists, quarter-finalists, finalists, and winners. And congratulations to anyone who's brave enough to submit their work for critique. I hope to see you all in a writer's room very soon. Thanks.